my version of the plywood guitar. It's hollow. Um, yeah, these are made from uh, two, two pieces of three quarter inch plywood with a masonite top. So just all wood you could get from the hardware store. Uh, it wasn't very expensive. Um, not super good quality wood. But, you know, all those Dan Electros are made from plywood and... And masonite. And masonite, right. <laughs> and then with a little fabric around the outside, make it, make it look nice. Yeah, no one's knocking Jimmy Page's... Um, you know, he had that one, I forget what model it was, the U2 or whatever, the... Um, yeah, you know, I think it was the U2. Electro U2, right? Yeah, so we wanted to build these guitars out of plywood and masonite. Um, basically, to test this design. It's a chambered body. Um, we're going to show that on screen. Um, so it's really light. Actually, it could be lighter. And I think that if we do another one, I'd like to, to um, hollow out the bottom half of the body as well. Because huh. um, feel this, it could be lighter. And that would, I don't think it'd be bad if it were a little lighter. Yeah. The pickups put a little weight on it. You don't want it to be neck heavy though, right? So right. I think it feels pretty good right now. Um, but yeah, I could see it being maybe a little bit lighter. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it would be that neck heavy um, if it were just a little lighter. Yeah. These have a, they, remember they have a, there's a wood, um, like a sort of a, a strip that goes down the middle here around the bridge. So it's hollow around this side right so this area could be hollowed out some more too actually like you could hollow this thing out in here and just have a block where the bridge screws in that's true you know yeah i think it would be enough though just to hollow out more of you know the other half of the yeah the um the yeah, body. yeah the back slab is still three quarter inches thick right so it's just the top part that's hollow right so it's like kind of half hollow mm -hmm. you know um yeah Kirk finished his with, from the hardware store too. <laughs> yep. Um, some wood stain. What is that some, like walnut some, or some something? Some donor pickups from a friend. Um, I don't think it's stained. I think it's just a polyurethane, you know, that I just wiped on with a, a rag to protect the, the fine uh, uh, <laughs> masonite from getting stains or, you yeah. know, um, what, what else could happen to a masonite slab? Yeah, I just painted mine with gesso. So I got this at the art store, a cheap bottle. It was like a couple bucks for a, a small bottle of gesso. And I still have some gesso left, so I could put more coats on here. Um, I was hoping I'd get it to the point where I could just sand it smooth. And it's been, it's almost there. I can still see a little bit of the wood grain, especially along the edge here. So I'm hoping I can, you know, put another couple coats on there and sand it down, you know? Well, I, I, that's okay. I mean, I, this this is pretty ugly, but I think that these are a good proof of concept. Yeah. We aren't going to be selling these on Reverb, so um, <laughs> yeah. Um, if we did um, sell a guitar similar to this on Reverb, it would probably um, have many more refinements. Um, but really, you know, the point was to you know to uh, have that experience of building the templates, and um, you know routing the neck pocket at an angle. In this case, this is an angled um, neck pocket. Yours is flat, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna put this telly neck on mine. So mine's just gonna be the telly, you know? I think I got a little bit of paint in the pocket here, so I gotta, I gotta kind yeah, of gotta shave that off to get this to fit in there pocket. again. But, uh, but I think this is gonna fit right here like this, right? When we're done. Yeah, I got this neck. It was kind of cheap on, on eBay. It was like 50 bucks or something. And it's kind of cheap. It's not um, super great quality. It actually, it looks fine though. You know, these frets are kind of small, but there's nothing wrong with that. It looks functional. Well, after we do the episode on on making a neck from things that you can get at the hardware store, or they don't even have to be hardware store necks, but you know, making an inexpensive neck, um, then we'll have a follow up to this video. Oh, yeah. On, I wanted know. I want to try doing the neck. I haven't done the neck. We've done the bodies, but um, you know. Um, but the neck is like its own challenge. I don't know why I'm kind of reluctant to give that a try, but uh, I think we're going to try that. <laughs> well, there's just so many things to do, but I mean, you have done all of the things. You, you've carved the neck, right? You've made a neck. You just haven't gotten to the point where you've put a fretboard on it and fretted it, but you put frets on a guitar. Yeah, I did. I did a fret job. So I so. replaced the frets, you know, and I've leveled before. So, you know, I think we can apply those skills here to, to a piece of wood and come out with a neck that 
might be functional. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so stay tuned. Yeah. It'll have a scarf joint. That'll be a, another scarf a joint. Scarf joint. That that's yeah. a piece of engineering that we need to um, to work out still. Yeah, I think the um, fender, this the the slab thing, is the first one, and then the scarf joint will be the second one. You know, um, but uh, but anyway. Yeah. Okay, so here's some more work in progress shots. Um, we didn't film any of this, unfortunately. Um, so Mitch just uh, laid out a couple of, of different options for settling on the telly style. And here he is routing um, the neck pocket. Um, it's flat, uh, flat, neck, flat neck pocket um, since it is a fender style neck. And I opted for a angled um, neck pocket because I'm using a um, wraparound bridge. Okay, so in this shot, this, this series of shots, we turned the um, the table for the um, the drill press on its side so we could drill um, the output jack. Um, and since we had it set up, I think we did like three different guitar bodies just to make use of, make the most efficient use of that, that setup. As you can see, we wanted the, the most accurate neck alignment possible, so we used a laser for that. Um, precision work. And you can see it coming together. And if you want to see what these guitars look like finished, uh, stay tuned to the channel. We are currently putting a, a nitrocellulose sunburst finish on this guitar, and um, I'll put a link to those videos in the description. All right, thanks for watching.